Hi, I'm Matt and I'm a Senior Education Manager and Specialist Nurse Practitioner here at South Central Ambulance Service. We have an exciting opportunity for nurses with at least two years post-registration experience to come and join us working on a frontline ambulance. The role is ideal for nurses seeking to develop their knowledge and skills in pre-hospital emergency care. Our ambulance nurses attend patients every day and make autonomous decisions over assessments, treatment and plans for ongoing care. As a nurse, speaking from my own experience, this is a great role that can develop into a fulfilling career. But don't just take it from me, here's what my colleagues have to say. Hi, my name's Jasmine. I'm an ambulance nurse at South Central Ambulance Service and I've worked here for the last 14 months. Before starting with South Central Ambulance Service, I worked as a nurse in A&E for two years. I applied for this role because I really fancied a change. I like being out and about and this role enabled me to work as part of a team in the community and really utilise my clinical skills. As a nurse, I enjoy the autonomy of this role. Uh, I get to spend time with patients at home and treat them at home and I find that really rewarding. My name is Cash. I've worked for the ambulance service for a number of years now and as a clinician I get the chance, the great opportunity to work with the nurses, alongside with the nurses in an ambulance. I love it because uh, us having the experience on the road and having nurses to work with uh, who's got experience in the hospital is great because this all this is benefit for the patient and we share all the information together. Hi, I'm Kieran. I'm an ambulance nurse for South Central Ambulance Service. Before I joined the ambulance service, I'd worked in uh, adult critical care and I'd worked for Northwest Ambulance Service. The part of the job that I enjoy the most is being an autonomous clinical practitioner out and about on the road um, as opposed to working in a hospital environment. Um, you often have to take into consideration patients' uh, environments and their surroundings um, prior to making any of your decisions, uh, which is quite a key part of the role. And you're really able to uh, utilise any of your past experience, uh, be that hospital or be that in the community, and really adapt that to the, the ambulance nurse role. We work with a variety of different members of staff out on the road, from associate ambulance practitioners, student paramedics, emergency care assistants and other paramedics as well. We also work quite extensively with the helicopter emergency medical services teams which we have throughout the Thames Valley and throughout the Hampshire areas. It's important that before submitting an application that only this provisional C1 is obtained. Um, however, before starting a course you would need to obtain the full manual C1 licence. One thing to really take into consideration before submitting an application is the 12 stone lifting assessment which will take place between two people. I was quite surprised when I lifted up the carry chair for the first time, it is quite a heavy weight um, and it does require some training prior to, uh, prior to taking part in that assessment. Well I hope you've enjoyed hearing from my other nurse colleagues here at South Central Ambulance Service. The training course for the ambulance nurse role is designed to support you in becoming a confident clinician out on the road. The course focuses on core elements such as scene management, clinical assessment and diagnostic reasoning. You'll be fully supported throughout your training period and have regular one-to-ones with both the education team and your clinical team educator. If you're interested to find out more, please visit www.scasjobs.co.uk or email us at recruitment at Thanks for watching.